All right, here we are, the middle of downtown Fort Worth, the site of the 2021 Bassmaster Classic. I'm fortunate enough to be fishing the Classic here this year in June. Trade has lived here her whole life. This is the modern West. We are in Fort Worth. We're gonna take you on a little tour today. We're not, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're guiding today, but we're not uh, guiding fishing wise. We're gonna guide you around Fort Worth here and let's go, let's get started. All right, if you guys are looking for accommodations just a few miles away from Dickey's Arena, well, where we'll be weighing in those big fish from uh, Lake Ray Roberts, Hotel Drover, brand new hotel just opened up um, right in the heart of downtown. There's restaurants, there's all kinds of things to do around the town here. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, check in with Tiffany here. She's gonna give us a little tour of the Hotel Drover. All right, you talk about the modern West. This is it. This is the standard room here, and this is absolutely modern, and it is Western. Take a look around. Texans love their turquoise. They love their coppers in here. Um, at the Hotel Drover, they did not spare any copper or any turquoise here. In this area. So this patio area is uh, open to the public here, so if you have dinner, you can come over here, hang out with your friends that are staying here, have a few drinks. But you do need key access uh, to the pool area here, which we're about to go and do next. All right, she just opened the doors of 97 West Kitchen and Bar, right next door to the Hotel Drover here. Amazing work, amazing work. Our super six times two. That's a super six with a plus one. Okay. Right here. Is this alligator or is this uh, crocodile here? Do we know? That's uh, that's just standard crocodile. Standard crocodile. Yeah. So it came across with the leather the cayman, sole. Yeah. Yep. The caiman and the Nile were all crocs. Okay. Right. And then the only other one is the alligator. American alligator. Yeah. Which is more, which is more premier. Right? Yes. Beautiful. Come on, let's head down to the, let's head down the proper supply. Yeah. Ray okay. Roberts, uh, Johnny, my film guy, camera guy here. We were out there about about two weeks ago. Uh -huh. I caught a 960, a 790, six and a half, five and a half, and a five and a half for like 33 and a half pounds. What are they feeding them, donuts? This is called the stockyards here, and this is where the initiation party will take place <laughs> Thursday night before the Bassmaster Classic in June. Ethan's hosting the party, and this place is gonna be rocking. Oh, How you doing? Are you the hat fitter? Or the, the, the hat presser? Yeah. Shake hat. I said hat fitter, but it's a sh hat shaping. Do you do it right here? Or? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> See that? Whoa. Get it really good. Oh, oh. Here, so we have three tiers. We have a 30x, which is 30% beaver, 70% rabbit. Oh, wow. So that's just the grain uh -huh. within it. Then we have a 50x, which is half and half. And then we have okay. a pure beaver. What do you so, like best? What are you wearing now? Mine's a 50, 50 so yeah. half and half. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, you can never go wrong with, you know, top of the line. Pure Beaver's always the best option. I think I'm gonna have to buy a hat right now. <laughs> we'll pick one out and we'll shape it. Going with the custom hat to your head and perfect sizing, you don't have to do much stretching. Wow. So that's just if, you know, someone tends hat? to have... Uh, Is that just a test hat? It's just, yeah, one just that I play that. around with, yeah. but yeah. Very cool. Like a I totally ride. like that shape yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. so that's the way that looks. You ever watch the movie Lonesome Dove? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. the old Gus. Yeah, yeah. Gus that's his shape. That's yeah. the old Gus is what that is. Nice. Yeah. A little flatter. Yeah. Go so, for we'll it. Yeah, we'll fit that one like pretty See. much as is, but just to my frame. See, so what to do? Yeah, yeah, let's do great. that. Yeah. Awesome. So let's the see awesomeness. about size. So try that on. And like I said, it's going to, when we shape it, obviously I'm going to open it up. I just want to make sure it's not too big on your head. Yeah, that's no, perfect. Good, right? Because you got room here. Yeah, plenty of room. Yep, it's perfect. It is good. Yeah. All right, no going back. Nope. Let her rip. You just take off what corner it does. Uh, eight inch. Eight inch. Just 
snare of your face. Yep. Always put the ribbon to the back. Ribbon to the back. And then it hardens back like up and it cools busy down. Uh -huh. How much are you doing? Cat wise? Yeah. Uh, we're typically doing anywhere from 15 to 20 a day. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's possible to do that many. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's. I like that. It smells good too. Hey, how do you match this with that? Alright, let's take care of this thing. Right. We have it, Mark. Yes, there you yeah. have it. Proper supply, Co. Where do you get your hat? One thing about Texans, we will not let little foul weather ruin the day. Whenever you come to a classic location and, and uh, mosey on down the streets and everything, you gotta go to the little gift shops here. And uh, this is one of them. Uh, so the MB Mercantile and Supply. Really cool stuff. We've been uh, in here before. She brought me in here before. We bought some more things. than a gift store, okay? This is culture right here. This is not just some gift shop at the local airport. <laughs> yeah. That's Nebo. That's Nebo, dude. And that's Michi. That is uh, okay. Like a candy bar for kids? Or you and Chris? King Ranch store. A lot of you guys know this as like the interior of a nice truck, but it's a lot more than that. We're at King Ranch, and the actual ranch has 825,000 acres. Can you imagine mowing that and the maintenance fee? I got an acre, and I'm like, ooh! Those are either fighting males or a mating pair. I think they're, f I think it's a mating pair, I want to say. But look at those rounds. So they were imported from India for big game hunting by the King Ranch. Wow. They're, they're part of the antelope family and they're um, used for big game hunting, really. They are very lean. They taste like a very lean steak. You have one? Yeah. It's really good. Have you ever eaten rattlesnake? I have not. So, okay, can you answer this question since you're like the expert? Okay. Is that a dueling male pair or no, is that they're a mating. male female? They're so they're mating. mating. They're mating. That's what I thought. These turn to survive today. That's pretty sweet. I've never even seen one. Babe. All right, just like the classic, the show has to go on. And this is what Fort Worth is known for. Look at all the tourists around here from pretty much all over the country. Um, but this is the cattle drive here. This is what the stockyards are known for. They're gonna run all these longhorn steers through here. So come on, let's go. So we're at Joe T's. In Fort Worth, you want a good ambiance, you have a big party, you like really good margaritas, you can buy by the pitcher on the rocks. This is the place to come. They host a ton of people outside because the outside atmosphere is, especially in the summer, one of the funnest places to be. They have a small menu, but they do everything perfect, which is why they have a small menu. Just don't forget, it's cash or check only, so bring a lot of cash.
good morning. So we decided last night instead of driving home, it'd be uh, better if we book a couple nights here at the Spring Hill Suites uh, down here off of Main Street, um, right here next to the stockyard. So it was super easy. It was like a 200 yard drive from the stockyards here. So we got a really good night's sleep. Really nice rooms, ultra clean. Uh, highly, highly recommend this place uh, if you guys come down to the stockyards here and, and uh, want to stay real close to it. So they even had like a little digital indicator on the uh, on the, the shower where it shows you you know exactly how hot the water temperature was. So I know the camera guy liked that one, right, Johnny? I like it. All right, it's another rainy day here in Fort Worth. But that's not going to stop us from having a little fun. We just pulled up to the TX Whiskey Distil Distillery here. And what a beautiful <coughs> lot they have, beautiful property here. Um, we're actually pretty fortunate. We're going to have Jeremy, kind of a tour guide, to take us on a little tour here. And I really like how things are made and how things work. So I really think I'm going to like this one. So we're going to have a little tasting, I believe, a little bit uh, later as well. But uh, again, uh, we're going to go ahead and mask up for this one since this is a distillery. Let's go check it out. I'm telling you guys just a little bit about where we're standing. Uh, if you don't know, this was uh, the old Glen Garden Country Club and Golf Course. Okay. And started in 1912. Wow. Um, so a lot of history on this course. Uh, ben Hogan and Byron Nelson actually grew up as caddies on this course. Wow. Um, so there's a lot amazing. of rich history here. Yeah. It's 112 acres, so we bought the entire thing uh, and built the distillery and event center right here in the middle. Of this. Wow. A lot of cool history there, so let's so, turn this way. Amazing view of downtown Fort Worth. Yeah, I can see the style. Yeah, it's actually one of the best in the city. Yeah. We just walked into the actual distillery part right here. And, and look at that centerpiece. I mean, this is an active distillery. This is, I'm assuming this is the start of it? This is the very end. The very end of it. Yeah, so we'll walk up and around. But this is the actual, the last step of the process. So this white dog, or clear whiskey is what will go into the barrel yep. to be put away for about three and a half years. Wow, three and a half years, it smell, you can smell it. it smells good. It's an exact replica of what you would see if you went into our Rick house, house or the barrel yeah, barn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we weren't permitted to take people in there. No, yeah, sure. Um, but this is literally exactly what you would see down to the floor of the, the, the cricks that you hear. Absolutely. So if y'all want to come on in and grab a seat here at the front, I'd like to introduce you to Jason. He's our mixologist here, here. Oh, man. Oh, this. Yes, we'll we'll start from the beginning. Go, okay, go cool. to left, right. Okay. So the first one, are you a whiskey drinker? Um, not hardcore, but okay. I'm well, especially if you're not a hardcore yeah. whiskey drinker, the first one might be your favorite already. Okay. It's our original product, uh, PX whiskey. That's the original, right there. Yes, yeah. this one was the one that was released in 2011. Um, it is a blended whiskey, so it's blended to be soft, sweet, supple, super easy to drink. Kind of a lot of vanilla tones to it. Vanilla, yeah. The cherry. Look at that color. Yeah, that yeah. color is beautiful. It's kind of a ruby reddish. Yeah. It's the spice it has kind of a menthol y. Huh. Mint, menthol flavor. Oh, yeah, uh, appreciate it, Jason. Right. Take care, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was pretty cool. I, uh, I live here and I've known about TX whiskey because pretty much everyone around here drinks it but I did not understand the process. I did not understand they have this huge facility and how much pride they take in it and how much 
uh, pride they take in the fact that they do it right here in Fort Worth. This is a phenomenal uh, space and uh, as a Fort Worthian, whatever we go by, like I'm kind of proud to know this facility exists here. It's definitely something to check out, especially if you're a bourbon drinker, a whiskey drinker. Um, I've heard nothing but rave reviews and I think the facility uh, speaks for itself. We got gifts. Man. Got bottles of bourbon to take home with us. So, if you guys want to learn more about this place, frdistilling.com. We're out. All right, it's lunchtime. You can't go to Fort Worth, Texas without getting a little barbecue in. Panther City Barbecue. Excellent, excellent choice for barbecue. The cool thing about this neighborhood is it's kind of like a new development situation. This is like becoming the hot spot. So Panther City is one of the first ones to really come in and do something with it. Really cool. Y'all need a couple boats? Extra yeah, boats? That'd be yes, awesome. please. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. I would just order that. This right here is the Cowtown platter. So you get a little bit of everything. You get a half a pound of brisket, half a pound of sausage, jalapeno, cracked pepper, your choice. Half a pound of pork, if that's what you're into. Um, then you get two sides. So we went with the mac and cheese and the potato salad. And then this is what they're known for. So they're mac and loading, but it's got brisket on top. Oh my god. They do. Yeah, it's really good. Think, but it's all good. Brisket, sausage, and pork, it's all good. Yeah, definitely. If I came back on my own, I'm ordering that, like, for a meal. You know, it's good. All right. So if you come to Fort Worth and you bring your wife, kids, family, whatever it is, and you're looking uh, to kill some time before a weigh-in or something like that, Top Golf is the place to go. We're not far from Dickey's Arena, where we'll be weighing in in June here, so um, Top Golf's always a good time. We've had Top Golf forever. We had one in Dallas. It's one of the original ones, I think. And, um, Around here, like happy hour, when you get off work, this is a place to be, they have a great happy hour. Um, obviously, they've done really well with the COVID regulations. Um, it's just a really fun atmosphere. You got good music, good drinks. If you want to eat, they serve food. And you can just be goofy and you don't have to really, you can play and be competitive without like sweating and act, you know, like, like putting on a full workout. It's, it's fun. Cool. Y'all have any issues, y'all can holler me and let me know too. Alright, sounds good. Alright, y'all have fun. Straight. Nine, seven. The lower the number, the further it goes. Here's something cool. You got women's, which are shorter, uh, and softer flex, and you have men's at every station. And then if you're left-handed, just tell them, and they'll bring some lefties out. So you don't have to bring anything, you don't need balls, you don't need anything. It's all here. You just come, you give them their money, and you have fun. I like if you're into to having a good old beer hoedown, you, they sell everything by buckets. Like this is made for big groups who want to have fun, hang out, and uh, do some, something competitive. This is Rihanna. It's owned by a guy from Fort Worth, his name's Mike. Huge supporter of Bassmaster, which is a really cool thing, but bigger. The cuisine of Rihanna is like a Fort Worth staple. It's what we're known for. It's high-end cuisine, it's your wild game, um, just stuff that you can't get anywhere else, and you walk away smiling like, I'm glad I picked that mill. This is the place to go. It's got two rooftop bars. It's happening on the weekends. Um, and again, Mike is a huge Bassmaster guy, which makes this even better. Bass fishers owns a Skeeter, come on. So you got uh, anything with the star in a circle, it's gonna be one of our signatures. Anything uh, you got on the other side, if you scan that little QR code, it'll take it to riata.net. Um, it'll have uh, wine, beer, cocktails on there for you. Get it on that little QR code right there. Uh, back side's gonna be dinner. Everything will come with two sides. Chicken and steak will get mashed potatoes and green beans. Yep. Fish will get rice and green beans. Okay. Can you start it with any drinks? Any of it? Fish just dives in the whole butter thing. It's butter. Yeah. Dang, man, that looks good. 
Who needs to use many calcium So this is what they're known for. Tenderloin tamales with a pecan mash, I think is what they call it. So if you come here and you've never been here, you're not from Texas, this is what you need to get. This, this is the get appetizer. But it's a huge portion, perfect for a big group, and it's good. All right, now that we got some of that fishing stuff out of the way, it's time to have a little fun. We're at the world's largest honky tonk, Billy Bob's, Fort Worth, Texas here. Trey said I looked the part, but she's asking if I could act the part. She signed us up for line dancing classes. So not only do they have live concerts at night, but they have some uh, line dancing classes and certain other things th throughout the day. So Teach you how to two-step line dance, all the things Chris doesn't do well. So let's see if uh, let's see if I could act the part here. But if you name ten country singers, I'll bet you nine of them have played at Billy Bob's in Texas. I bet you ten have. This guy. We tried, came to Billy Bob's, we did uh, the line dancing class. I'm terrible, he's worse. Just give me a fishing rod, please. Uh, we're gonna bounce because this is like, for us, we are so uncoordinated. But if you've got kids, it's a place to come, dude. It's fun. You don't have to worry about the age limits, nothing nefarious going down, just good, fun family entertainment. So uh, come out, enjoy it. We had fun, we're just terrible at it. Loretta Lynn. 97. Loretta Lynn, Tanya Tucker. Is Avicii on this wall somewhere? Yeah, he's right next to Diplo. Diplo, okay, right there. Gotcha. All the Texas people, CCR, Cross Canadian Rugby. Oh, yeah. All right, line dancing was fun, but I kind of worked up a appetite. I'm kind of thirsty, so Maple Branch Brewing Company. Uh, we're about to walk in here and do a little tasting. They even have Tesla parking if you uh, happen to drive your Tesla here. So, no banana. Um, there's patios and then there's beer gardens. And yeah, beer right. gardens have to have trees ah. because the whole point of it was they had, well, and the cellar. They would put the cellar next to the brewery to keep the beer cold. Ah. Um, and so you would come there, get the fresh beer, and then sit under the trees and like bring your food and have a good time. I didn't know that. And so That's it kept the cellar cool. cold. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. I didn't know that. So, yeah, we put a lot of effort getting those trees in there. That was just a broken parking lot before. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, we had it. Yeah, and then our fountain has beer taps. 
Very um, cool. water coming out, super cool. I just, I my first vision was to have 30 taps going all the way across. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, Nothing takes us about that. Yeah, know? yeah. Just so, so we can. Uh, so yeah, let's do a little sampler or something. You know, the different the color yeah. change. How long are we so, Okay, now you can take this around or you think. Nice. Yeah, so we tried to fix lots of issues we thought. So a lot of times when you go to the brewery, you pick it up or something and sure, right. shake it's everywhere. Right. So you have the stand so you can nice. go any which way you want. No problem. And then he does it. Unless you find the, the hole. hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's awesome. laughs> I think that's cool. the only hole. <laughs> that's a audio. So this but. is the raspberry filled. Yep. This one you went with the... Uh, uh, it's not Gold, a uh, Golden Trail, so it's yeah. a Munich Hellas German Munich. Lager. Munich, yeah. That's a, a Blondale with the raspberries added, real raspberries. Okay. Vienna Lager, yeah. just basically like an amber, malty, but clean and crisp German okay. Lager as well. That's and then the, the s'mores. Yeah, this is a marshmallow. Take out the raspberry. Here, I can. Cheers. Do you want to? No, it's fine. It's like, okay. We're married. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if you want to share it. Oh, yeah. What's that one again? The, the, the Golden the Trail. Golden Trail. Yeah. 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 It's yep. like perfect in life. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I can drink that all day. This is a post fishing beer right here. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> well, it's funny, sometimes it's people walk up and they're like, guys, can I get the Yeah, raspberry? raspberry? Yeah, they don't know what to say. <laughs> Johnny's that kind of guy, too. Johnny, yeah. Oh, no, no shame. I'll own it up, yeah. No shame, Johnny. I would drink that in a heartbeat. <laughs> that one's you. Oh, wow. Was that the mala? Yep. Marshmallow. Yeah, that's good. What's that one, Trey? This one is uh, the Vienna yep. lager, right? Yep. Yeah, it's really good. That's so far my favorite. Oh, wow. That's awesome. It's just a puree, right? Mm -mm. Or how Real do you do it? whole raspberry. Really? Yeah. And so we put them in bags in the tank so they don't, because don't the beer down. breaks it down. Yeah. And then the little, like, you know how they're like lumpy kind of, yeah. but that will, they'll peel apart and then that can get in the keg spear oh, yeah. or whatever yeah. and clog the keg. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. you have to put them in bags. Go it bags, takes yeah. forever, yeah. Kind of like big tea bags. Yeah, 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 basically almost like a tea. Nice. Yeah, so we, we get the flavor, we get the color, but none of the, the other stuff. They turn like ghost white. Do they weird. really? Like bleed the whole Because it takes yeah. the entire color yeah. out. Yeah, yeah that's all. Awesome. Yeah, it's actually weird. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Crunchy. It's buttery. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. What sauce is that? Cheese? That's cheese sauce. And just straight up mustard. Mm. So, yeah, so we have the... Uh, Czech Pilsner, um, Hefeweizen, oh, yeah. um, Irish Red Ale, and the Coffee Stout. Coffee Stout. All right, let's do it outside. Yeah, yeah the Hefe. <laughs> Try it. And then now that you've said banana, that's all I can think about. Yeah. <laughs> because it's, it's not banana, but then it. That's why I call it monkey yeah. business. Yeah. Oh, that is good. <laughs> It's uh, getting the, like I said, that half liter, the big, like the one they have over there at that uh -huh. table. It's it's so awesome. You feel the you just big glass in your hand. Sure. Yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, it's like Germany. Ladies and men, <laughs> raspberry, to raspberry lager? No. Uh, raspberry Blondale. Blondale, yeah. so I got that one wrong completely. Raspberry Blondale, it is fantastic. It's real raspberries, it's not added, uh, puree, whatever. Um, and you can really tell a difference. And come June and the classic when it's hot, this is probably all I'm gonna be drinking. <laughs> oh, so. no. Cheers, Thanks, yeah, cheers. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, thank you. 
and it's a new day here in Fort Worth. Skies are clearing up, the sun's popping up, and we're here at the Will Rogers Memorial Center. And within it is the brand new Dickies Arena. Completed in 2019, Dickies Arena hosts all the rodeos, all the different shows, concerts. Um, this arena holds up to upwards of 14,000 people, so we got plenty of room for all the classic fans. This is where it's all gonna go down, as you can see, in Texas, everything's bigger here, so just a whole lot of space for all the bass fishing fans. The 51st Bassmaster Classic, the party is gonna happen right here. The fish are gonna be weighed in inside this building here, and of course the expo is gonna happen down at the convention center. We'll take you over there next. And just a couple hundred yards away from Dickey's Arena here, you could literally walk to a couple different museums. You got the Eamon Carter uh, Museum of American Art, and you have also the Kimball Art Museum. Um, and you know, if your wife, girlfriend, mom, dad get tired of looking at fishing lures and fishing stuff, or if you want to just kill time before the weigh-ins, definitely a couple cool places to check out. This is where it's going down. Big sacks, fat sacks. We're gonna bring those big bass from Lake Ray Roberts all the way down 35 through here and we're gonna weigh them in at Dickey's Arena and it's gonna be electrifying. We're closing out Fort Worth. It's a little bright today. Uh, here's the thing about Fort Worth. I'm from here. Been here my whole life, raised here my whole life. And Fort Worth's a little slower. And when I say that, it's not a bad thing. What I've learned being here is that we do things the long way, the good way. So your experiences are much better here. When we make a margarita, we make it from scratch. When we build you a pair of boots, it takes four hours just to fit it. When you come here to eat something, like at Riata, you get an exotic ribeye that you're not gonna experience anywhere else. So come here, experience the cowboy way of life. I promise you, you won't duplicate it and you won't regret it. That's all I got. 